Okay. From, from the Let, let's jump on that real quick. Let's jump on that. So, so you said that uh, men on, are under attack and are being, you know, uh, how did you put that? Yeah, yeah, they're under attack. Masculinity is under attack. They're attacking masculinity. They're trying to make men softer, right? Do you want to speak on that a little bit? A absolutely. A Go ahead. Absolutely. <clears throat> community, uh, culture, because it's easy to control, right? It's easy to control. They want you to have no money, right? What are they trying to do now? They're trying to get the one world currency. They're trying to get rid of cash. They want everything digital, right? Where they can push a button and cut the shit off. They're trying to get rid of gas cars. They want everything digital. Why? Because every electric car has a kill switch. Everything they do is about more and more control. Look, every time a catastrophic event happens, no one notices until it's too late and you look up and you just lost a little more rights. Look at um, look what they're doing with social media right now. They're they're starting to control. Look, me and you can't even say certain words on this live right now. Sure. But then we gonna jump off live and say we got freedom of speech. How? When you censoring yourself to not be canceled off your own damn live. Twitter, you can only look at like a couple hundred posts now. You done for like. They're slowly taking away that freedom of speech and controlling what you can even see. They control your algorithms and as far as the masculinity thing. Every TV show you look on, it has to have LGBT scene on it. The foods they're put in, soy is almost impossible. It's almost impossible to, to get food and not have soy in it, right? We all know the effect soy has on, on men, right? Like I said, the, the testosterone levels are down like 30% just in the last 20 years. They're putting plastics in, in all the foods and shit now. That's affecting you like, bro, you are under attack. <laughs> Chemically, bi 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 blah, 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 blah. biologically, physically, and mentally. What the hell was that? Oh, that's crazy. People sending gifts. Go ahead, man. Oh, my bad. Look, bro, you go to schools now, they got your, they got your sons reading books about boys sucking on other boys and teachers how do you feel about that you know it's all right to try like they're really trying to groom your kids they're trying to make it okay <clears throat> for the transgenders to come dance in front of the kids having damn near strip tease shows in front of the kids like they're unlocking your kids minds to alternative lifestyles at ages where they should be learning basic life skills they won't teach your kids about finance and how to manage money but they're gonna tell your six your, your five-year-old hey it's okay if you want to suck your friend's penis you can try oh excuse me if you want to do some things to your friend right yeah. like bro i got kids bro my when my daughter was in i want to say fourth grade fourth or fifth grade they made them read one of those books in the class now think think of this setup they read one of those books in class then they released them to recess. How cold is that? Just think about that. So what if one of these kids got an idea off this book, went to recess and tried it? It's almost like they were encouraging them like, okay, now that you read this material, go out there and try it, see if you like it. No, didn't ask the parents nothing. Didn't ask your permission. Like they're putting these thoughts in your kid's head, bro. Like, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, it is a full blown attack. And when I, when I speak about subconscious programming, when you watching a movie and then one of those scenes come on, boom, that's programming. When your kid's watching a cartoon and one of those scenes come on, boom, that's programming. When you walk in the store and you walk by Target and they got the whole section of that stuff, programming. It's slowly normalizing it in your mind. That's how they do. You see it, it's like a song that you hate, they play on the radio over and over. Oh, Eventually, mm -hmm. you start to like it and you learn the words. You, like you start it. you start to hate to like it. You start like, oh my God, but you know all the damn words. All right. You know, so, what the fuck is this song? Mm -hmm. You don't even know you was being programmed. Same thing with this shit. You're going to look up 10 years from now, and it's just going to be the norm. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, people got to wake the fuck up. Okay, let me, let me ask you a question in regards to that, though. I think it's an important question, just to make something clear. So, you know, you're, you're, you're bringing up, you know, trans, LGBTQ, and how there, there's an agenda being pushed regarding like 
putting this in books and movies now and now children are being um influenced into you know thinking about that okay sure sure i, I actually don't disagree that it's it's being normalized but now the real question is this do you agree that since the history of uh, you know of, of of media and entertainment <clears throat> We have had sexual ambiguity being pushed, but not LGBT element, just even straight, you know, hetero uh, sexual ambiguity has always been pushed. And my question is this, because, I mean, I grew up as a little boy, you know, messing around with other kids. You know, I think a lot of us have, unfortunately. Yeah, We're just curious humans, curious yeah. children. And, and it's safe to say that it's, we learn this thing by watching either, uh, uh, not necessarily always, you know, uh, media, but just people interacting. We we are around adults who are kissing and we're curious and we do try this with other, you know. Um, so So now my real question is this. Did sexual ambiguity be a problem when it became and or turned into LGBT and or trans? Or has it, in your opinion, always been a problem? That, that's my question. No, I, I think it's all, there's always been love scenes or whatever, or like, there's never been this explicit content pushed towards kids ever. Yes, there's been movie scenes that have had sex scenes. There's been cartoons that had innocent little kisses. But to the degree that they're pushing this now, it's almost full blown porn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, so I see. This is what I'm saying. I don't even know the words we can't even say on this thing. But okay. it's almost full blown that kind of material mm -hmm. being pushed on the kids. And it's the teachers telling them this. Mind you, we went to school. We didn't have teachers asking us your orientation. That wasn't even a topic. Sure. We had sex ed and they showed you these STDs and this is what happened when you have sex without a condom. Here goes some condoms if you're gonna practice safe sex. They wasn't, the, the stuff that they are showing these children and the, the, the uh, propaganda that's being pushed, never in history. Tell me a time ever in history where it's been pushed like this, ever. I think it's a clause in Hollywood. You can't even have a show or a movie unless it, that stuff is in there. Okay, but, but let me re-ask the question though. If, in your in your honest opinion, because it's always been around, and and I'm not gonna argue whether it's been pushed more and more. That that that's that's obvious, right? But the but the question was specifically, has it only began to be a problem in your honest opinion when it turned into? you know, uh, uh, trans and or LGBTQ, or ha or is it, or is ambiguity being bad in general, or, or did it become a problem only when it became LGBTQ, et cetera? See, that, that, that's a loaded question, because for me to say yes, it would be like me saying, oh yeah, you are, like I'm targeting the LGBT community, no. It, well, you you could you could start by saying I, I don't hate them. No, 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 I don't, because I don't care what people do in their personal yeah. life. The problem comes in when you're pushing it on the children. That's the problem people are having. No one's having a problem about you choosing to do whatever in your personal life. It is the constant shoving it down everyone's throat, and it's the weird obsession with exposing it to kids. I think they would have got the same pushback when we were kids if our teachers were pushing this hard on us about these type of topics, even if it was heterosexual. If your teacher was asking you, hey, Ricardo, when the last time you licked the JJ in class, I'm pretty sure your parents would have had a problem with that. Like, hey, why are you asking my kid this? And that's not LGBT, that's heterosexual stuff. I think it's pushing it on the children that's creating the issue, pushing it down everyone's throat, every corner we turn, that's the issue. This is why people are uh, against it because it's like, hey, you already can marry, you already can adopt, 
Y'all got more rights than we got. What's the problem now? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to announce? Like, we're not walking around with, hey, I'm straight flags on our cars and all this dumb shit. Like, bro, just live your life. When you're trying to force us to accept things that we don't live by, that's the problem. So to answer your question, no, it's not just because LGBT, even though that's part of it, because parents want the choice to talk to their kids about that stuff. They don't want their kids being influenced by certain things. But if it was heterosexual being pushed on the kids as well, it would still be a problem. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Absolutely. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, so you're against sexual ambiguity being pushed, it, period, no matter if it's hetero or straight, this, this, kids, just... Bro, let kids be kids. When they decide sure, to sure, do sure. that, sure. that's when they decide. Don't Absolutely. push it on them. Okay, go. I could agree with that. that. That, just that itself, I agree with that, that sexual ambiguity shouldn't be t taught to kids, period, and pushed. I, I agree with that now.